Hi you guys, welcome back to my vlogs. My name's Madeline for those of you that are new. So in this vlog, I'm gonna be just kind of taking you on a week in my life. I haven't done one of these and especially I haven't done one of these in the fall and I just love everything about the fall. So I thought I would just take you guys along and see what I get up to in this next week. A week from yesterday, we're actually going to Colorado. So next Thursday um, and we're gonna road trip it and we're gonna stay in Santa Fe for one night and then we're gonna stay in Durango for like three or four days. Um. Sorry, someone's walking by. I always think they like are staring at me and know that I'm vlogging, but no one actually cares. You know, I gotta get over this whole like public vlogging thing. Anyways, so right now what I'm doing is I'm about to run in Sephora because I'm sure as a lot of you guys know, it is their semi-annual sale that they do. I'm a Rouge member, which AKA means I like spend all my money at Sephora. So I get 20% off, which is awesome. And I'm gonna go get some refills and like try a couple new things. And I'll show you guys for sure after I do that. And then I have a couple returns I need to do. And I also really need a new pair of tennis shoes. So I'm gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods, I think. But yeah, and then tonight I think we're just gonna lay low, either like order pizza or eat leftovers. And then, I don't know, I think I might do brunch with my friends tomorrow. So anyways, you guys will see all of that. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram um, at Madeline A. Woods. And let's get this vlog started. Just got back from shopping, and I also just got this pair of boots in the mail from Zara, and I am obsessed with that rain boot, big chunky combat boot look. And so let me show you guys what I just got in the mail. I got them from Zara, and I'm sure you guys have been just like me, seeing this look all over Instagram, and it kind of looks like the Prada boots, but I love how they're higher. I don't have, I haven't had a tall pair of black boots in a while. Um, and then I also got, I also got these chunky combat boots from Misguided that zip up and they look like this one pair from The Row and but obviously they're from Misguided so a fraction of the price and I am just so excited to style both of these. And then here's the other ones on. Like how cool. I know they're not everyone's style but I think they're so neat and also very flattering. I feel like a really chunky boot makes your legs look skinnier. Okay. And then, and then as promised, a Sephora haul, of course. So, what do I want to start with? Let's see. This is probably what I'm most excited about. I've seen, I was watching reviews last night or like people's videos of recommendations of what to get um, at the sale. And I've been eyeing this for a while. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And this one is in shade Universal, which I heard is the best. Um, just for like what you get and you get a highlight a white color, which I'm not really sure what I'll use this one for but I don't know um, So it'll be like like a really pretty like either blush or blush topper and then um, a really pretty Bronzer topper, maybe I don't know. I need to look up exactly how to use this but I'm excited because you can also use these as like eyeshadows and and obviously it's just gorgeous um, and then I got I decided to try the airbrush flawless finish perfecting micro powder from charlotte tilbury and because i feel like i either bake or don't wear any makeup at all i feel like i have no in the middle between um like my full-on makeup and then just not wearing any and then i'm just not in the mood to like bake my face and like go all out but i don't want to look just shiny and so i needed just a normal powder and so we're gonna give this a shot and i got mine is in fair number one um move this over a little and then let me go to this really quick. So I've been using the Bobbi Brown, one of their foundations, the one that Sophia Richie uses in her Vogue makeup tutorial, which I really enjoyed, but I think I just want one a little more full coverage. And I just always think about this one. I This is the one I used before the Bobbi Brown one, and it was just my absolute favorite foundation ever. It, it's very buildable, but then it's also, um, like a photo finish luminous silk perfect glow foundation and so it's better for you know events and things with flash photography and stuff like that not that there's too many of those in 2020 but i just love this formula a lot and so i decided to go for that because since sephora is having this sale right now um and i also got the huda beauty um loose setting powder in pound cake which i need to see I like it because I heard it was a little more like pinky shaded as opposed to the what I use right now is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Whatever, I'll get that later. 
Um, but yeah, just a different setting powder. I think it's more like pink toned, which I like. I know Kylie Jenner uses that a lot and I really like that on her. Oh, how nice. They gave me a little sample of the Laneige. What is this? The lip mask. I've used this before. I like it. But I actually just like the Summer Fridays lip mask better. Just side note. Um, just a couple more things. This is the... Um, Charlotte Tilbury. I used, I watched Maddie Bernard's video on what she got from the sale or what she recommends. And so she like honestly really got me with a lot of this stuff because a lot of hers was Charlotte Tilbury too. Um, but I've used this before too and I just wanted to go back to it. It is the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury and it's just so buildable. When you open it, it's like this, a sponge and you squeeze it and it's just, you just dot, dot, dot. And I love it. So I thought I'd go back to that. And then I also love this highlight that it comes with, or not comes with, you buy separately, but same idea, um, same exact packaging. But in this one, they had a couple shades. They had like a pink one, a gold one, and I think this one is just called Spotlight. And it's just like, it kind of, it's like the liquid version of um, Becca Champagne Pop, if you've ever used that. So super excited about that and then i think i got oh yeah this last last but not least i got the makeup forever lip pencil in shade up and down tan um because i'd like i really like um charlotte tilbury pillow talk lipstick but i've been wanting one like a like a little bit deeper shade of lip liner because just to give me a little poutier look and the overlined kind of contour my lips a little bit to look a little bit bigger and I just found with the exact Charlotte Tilbury lip liner that I wasn't really getting that vibe. So I'm going to try this one out. Um, and yeah, that's it for my Sephora haul. Now that I have some new makeup, I really do want my all my brushes to be really clean. And I haven't cleaned them in longer than I want to admit. But let's see if I can tilt this down. Nope, not very easily. But see here, here you can see all my makeup brushes. And what I've done in the past that has worked really well is you mix olive oil or canola oil, I need to look it up, and Dawn, and then you like dip it in the tray, or I'll just show you guys, but you just dip it in the, on the plate, swirl it around, and it gets, it breaks up all the makeup on the brushes. Thank God I looked because I had the vegetable oil out and it's actually olive oil, so you're gonna need olive oil and Dawn, which we are actually kind of running low on. Um, and you do two parts Dawn to one part olive oil. And I'm gonna do that right now. some dinner and finished cleaning my makeup brushes pretty crazy friday night um but i just warmed up this meatloaf i made last night and i made mashed sweet potatoes and they are so good i just put like a fourth cup almond milk unsweetened i guess it wouldn't really matter since sweet potatoes are already sweet but um that and then like two tablespoons of butter and then boiled them and then mashed them and they are so good it's getting me excited for thanksgiving but yeah, and then I just watched the next guest with David Letterman and Kanye West was the guest and he's such an interesting guy. I really like him. And then I watched the episode with Kim before that, obviously, but I just, I love them. <laughs> All right, update on my boring Friday night. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a bath. Ryan just went for a walk to stick it outside. He's been working all day. And then we're gonna go get dessert. Because I had, health, had a healthy dinner, so I deserve I deserve a dessert, especially because I'm not going to go out drinking tonight. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Eatsy's. Eatsy's has the best dessert ever. Um, but yeah, came and take a bath. And then maybe I'll show you guys like an updated skincare routine or something. Just got out of the bath. It was lovely. I honestly will need to wash my hair, but I think I'm doing something tomorrow um and i also want to shoot some pictures so i think i'm gonna wait to wash it so it's really fresh in the morning but i want to do a really in-depth 
in-depth <laughs> skincare routine. So I'm gonna start out. <sighs> first, I'm gonna tone my skin, do some toner. Um, this is the Summer Friday Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. I've been really liking this. I feel like it's really like helped with the color of my skin and making everything even. And so I'll just take the cotton round. And it's funny because, I mean, this is a good thing. It doesn't come out too fast. And so, um, but it's liquid, but it doesn't spill out the spout, which is really nice. Just so you don't waste product too much because you really don't need too much of this. It's kind of strong. Um, but yeah, and I'll just do this all over my face. And it's almost that time of the month for me. And so I always get like a few like bolder feeling pimples underneath my skin. Um, and I, the masks obviously can't help with that either. But, but yeah, I like doing this. This just gets like whatever um, the face wash or if I'm wearing makeup, makeup wipe doesn't get off. So then after I do this, I, I don't exfoliate every night. I use this on nights, um, on most nights, but I don't like really go in and exfoliate more than like two nights a week. But my favorite exfoliator, the one that I feel like really does the job the best. No, not that one. Where'd you go? This one? Yeah. The Ordinary AHA 30% BHA Peeling Solution. This stuff is so strong. It was funny because I was at Ulta the other day with my friend and this lady told us that was working there that she used to, oh no, my camera's flashing at me. Okay, really quick story. This lady said that she used to put this stuff on and sleep with it every single night. And I don't know how she did that because this stuff stings. And so this is the stuff you might have seen on TikTok. It looks kind of like blood. Um, but I just do like one and then just do it all over my face. And then honestly, I can rarely ever make it all 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna sit down, <laughs> look at my phone and let this do its thing and I'll be back. Okay, I just wiped that stuff off of my face. I, it does such a great job, but it hit like eight minutes that I had it on. I was like, I have to get this off my face. Um, so now I'm gonna go in. So I use this for if I ever get any like, you know, like little, I have dark hair, so obviously it grows everywhere, including my upper lip, and really cute. And so I have this, and if you've seen dermaplaning, you know how um, that's been huge. And if you don't know, basically it's you you shave your face, or like your peach fuzz on your face, because it was found that men age slower because they shave their face all the time, so they're constantly exfoliating, so that's why they actually age slower because they're always shaving. But, so I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna like full on do it. To full on do it, I've watched the videos and you like put on an oil and like you really, it's like really soothing. I'm just gonna right now just do like, um, where I get a little peach fuzz like right here and like a little like above where like I get peach fuzz above my eyebrows and just kind of like make sure my face is really smooth for makeup application. Um, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna go in and do my retinol. This is definitely what I attribute to where my skin has been so good lately. And if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen me do this like a million times. This is the Epiduo Forte. You can only get it from the dermatologist, but it is so worth it. And then I just rub it in all over my face. on the bottom of my chin and then I'm gonna let that sit for a sec and then I'm gonna do my moisturizer so I know I already went over my Sephora sale picks earlier but the summer Friday's jet lag mask is my favorite thing in the world and right now they're selling a really big tube this is the five ounce bottle and with this with the 20 or however much percent you get off at Sephora right now um, it makes this so much more worth it because it's 65 but the way they explained it is you get a lot of product for and a lot of bang for your buck and i use this literally every night it's the only thing that keeps my skin like very moisturized and supple especially in the winter and so i use this pretty much every night and it's like a it's a clean beauty brand and so i know there's nothing crazy in it and honestly the simpler you keep your skincare routine 
Like I know tonight I feel like my skincare has not been like that purple, but usually I just use like most nights of the week I literally just use a toner, retinol, and this. Because this can also be used as an under eye cream, which is even more bang for your buck. Look at me. I could really be sponsored by Summer Fridays. Okay. And now that that's on, I feel like since I exfoliated, my skin's like, I still don't feel quite right. Just because I feel like everyone needs to exfoliate for anti-aging and for um, just like getting dry skin cells off of your face. But I have naturally kind of dry skin or I guess it's more combination. And so it just feels really dry right now. Um, even after that. And so what I got is, no, that's not it. The other day when I was at Ulta, I got the Ordinary, same brand as the other mask I did. And this is their Marula oil. And they are so reasonably priced. Like, I think this was like $10. And Marula oil is really good for dry skin and anti-aging and this just kind of really seals the deal for me and helps me with my dry skin and then last but not least my camera is dying again um i'm gonna go in with the not shocking summer friday slip balm um i love this it's like vanilla flared and i swear i wake up and my lips still feel moisturized and it's just the best okay i've really been looking forward to this all day but this is from easy's i think they're in multiple cities but i'm not sure um but yeah this is the best dessert in the world if you're a chocolate lover like me and you're ever in dallas or if you live in dallas go get this and this is what it looks like it's like a brownie with mousse and just amazingness Good morning, you guys. So it's actually Monday morning now. Um, you saw on Saturday, I went and hung out with friends and had some fun. And then yesterday we really just didn't do much and so I didn't pull out the camera, but today is Monday. And today I'm gonna just be doing a few errands. I'm gonna grocery shop. I really wanna go to Target. I don't know why, I just really want some like Christmas pajamas and just to see if they have anything else. Um, sorry, it's really hot in this truck. Um, if they have anything else that I want to get in the holiday spirit and I think later I'm gonna put up the Christmas tree. I think it's finally time. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm gonna go for a walk just to get some exercise. I haven't had some, ex I haven't had exercise in the past couple days and so I'm just like needing to move my body. But, um, but yeah, I will take you guys along for the day and then obviously show you guys when I start to decorate for Christmas. Okay, Target was absolutely amazing. Note to self, I need to start coming here early every year for Christmas because it was so lovely to not have everything picked over. And I went ahead and got my wrapping paper. I'll do like a little haul when I get home, but I got my wrapping paper, um, like markers, the little stickers that you put on the wrapper on the wrap to know who it's for. And I got some Christmas pajamas and like a, like what did I get? I got a couple of like trinkets to put around the apartment, but. Yeah, it was so nice. I need to really remember to do that every year, that if I go put up procrastinate, then everything won't be picked over. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries for the week. I don't need much because we're going to Colorado on Thursday. Um, but I need to get, oh my gosh, is there a hole in this a sweater? But yeah, I need to go to Trader Joe's, just get a few things to make some healthy meals for until we leave on Thursday. Um, but yeah. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store and I didn't get that many. It was a pretty small grocery one today, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got that are kind of fun. So I got this advent of um, this advent of the cocktail hour from Trader Joe's, and it's chocolate truffles. So every night you have like a 
liqueur flavored truffle and I thought that was so cute so I got an extra one for my mom to give her. And that thing was pretty basic. I did get this harvest apple salad kit that I've been really liking from Trader Joe's. And then I also got the Southwestern Chuck salad, which I haven't had before, but I'm excited to try um, some wines. It's just like their two buck chuck they have there. And I really just needed this because I'm making chicken piccata tonight. Um, and then I'd never seen this before. This is their hot and sweet jalapenos. And so this is gonna be nice. And I'm gonna put that on top of salmon some night this week. Um, and then the other two things I got that are kind of fun is I got this holiday vegetable hash. And that this would be a, a good side with dinner this week. Um, and then I had this last year, I, I loved it. This is their cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. So I'm super excited about that. And then I got some capers. Oh, and then I almost forgot this black truffle sauce that is seasonal, which I didn't know at the time last year. And so I really took advantage of it. And I'm so excited it's back. I'm gonna put it on like cauliflower gnocchi or something like that, but it's just the best ever. And then I literally just got vegetables and eggs and sourdough bread. Just got ready and I'm about to film a closet essentials for winter and fall 2020. So make sure you guys go check that out. But before I did, I wanted to show you guys what I got at Target today because it is so fun. And I feel like it just finally got me in the spirit of listening to Christmas radio and went to Target and got some Christmas PJs and a few things. And I think it's gonna help me get in the spirit. So let me show you. So as you can see, I'm obviously very conflicted because I have my pumpkins in here too, but I got this reindeer, which is really cute and feels like really high quality. Like it's really heavy. Um, and then I also got these two guys, which I thought were kind of like vintage looking and they're kind of, they think they're like glass, um, but they're pretty matte and they have sparkles on them, but like very subtle. And then I did a pop of green. Um, and that's all I got for that. I was pretty good at restraining myself as far as decor goes since I haven't put everything else out yet and I kind of wanted to see what I was working with. Sorry, my, our bed looks horrible because we're washing our comforter. But, and then I also got PJs. And I usually am just like asleep in a big t-shirt gal. But I just really wanted some PJs this year. And so, and I knew if I went early, they wouldn't be too picked over. So I got these and I just think they are so cute. They remind me of Mallory Irvin, if you guys follow her. I just feel like, I feel like she would wear these PJs, but um, so I got this and then it has a matching top and I was a little sneaky. I don't even know if this is sneaky or bad, but I wanted, I like took the pants off of the hanger because I wanted to see how big they looked because um, I wanted them to make sure they were really comfy. And so I got a medium in the bottoms, but the top looked to i don't know i wanted it to be like pretty oversized and so i went for a large in the top so it'll be extra comfy but yeah and then i think that's all i got at target good morning you guys it is the next day i just honestly wanted to hop on to show you guys my christmas jammies aren't they cute yeah today is Tuesday and um I am going to just do some like how do I do this I never like hold this tripod while I'm trying to do this and I'm gonna just use like some errands I have some things to do for my new job um and then I think I'm actually gonna decorate today for Christmas and yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna edit a video right now um, it'll be up by the time this goes up. It's my um, winter fall 2020 closet essentials, kind of like a capsule wardrobe video. And yeah, I think that's about all I know. Just drinking my coffee, enjoying my jammies. I woke up at 3.30 this morning because we went to bed at 9, like old people. And I genuinely thought, I because I could see like light coming in through the curtains, but I thought it was like natural light, but turns out it was just the street light. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna like get up, I'm gonna edit my video, I'm gonna decorate, I'm gonna do all this stuff, and I like got myself all riled up. And then I looked at my phone and realized it was only 3.30 in the morning and had to force myself to go back to sleep. And it took a really long time. And then I was sniffling and I woke, woke Ryan up and it was just a whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, now it's like 9.40 and I slept way later, so yeah. So it is later in the day now. I just took a shower and I went for a long walk. It is so beautiful out. Ooh, that sunshine. Um, but so I, what did I do today? 
I edited a video. I really just had a pretty low-key day today, um, but I did have something really exciting that I didn't think I was going to be able to show you guys because it was still at the shop, but um, I got a new bag, and not just any bag, but let me just show you. I won't build it up too much. I got the medium size caviar double flat bag by Chanel, obviously, and this was a pretty... Um, obviously big purchase and big decision but i'll explain the reasoning i got it on so i just got out of the shower oh sorry that light and i went for a long walk it was great it's beautiful outside today it's like 75 degrees um but really i just edited a video and didn't really do too much today just a lot of like admin work but i wanted to show you guys my latest purchase i got a new purse um for getting a new job it was kind of like my treat to myself and not just any bag and i'm excited because i thought it was going to be at the shop for another week because i got it used um but i was able to get it back earlier and so i'm so excited to show you guys i'll show you the bag and then give you kind of like the backstory so it is the beautiful chanel caviar leather double flat bag in the medium size and I got it used off of the Real Real for a really good price for what it was. Um, and how I said I was at the shop was there's a place in Dallas called Dino's. Shout out Dino's. They were amazing because I got it and it actually had a few more scuffs than I wish it had. It had a little more like wear and like kind of like black marks. You, you could. This is definitely like a vintage one. Um, and here I'll show you what the inside looks like. It's, you open it, you twist that. And then there's like a smaller pocket back here. And then you open it right here. And then it's pretty it's pretty good size on the inside so yeah but um but yeah so i had a few more scuffs and i was wondering i was good looking up like what you can do for that if anything and i found a leather shop where they dino's mainly does shoes but i called them and told them my concerns with the bag and they were like oh my gosh yeah bring it in and they fix it up beautifully you can, it's definitely vintage like you can for sure tell but i am in love with it and they were actually able to take out the leather and like wash that up because whenever I got this, the chain was actually the part that was bothering me the most. It was like pretty beat up, um, but it just looks amazing. Even the back looks beautiful. I'm just so, so excited. And I was debating a couple other purses, but this one is just so timeless and I know I'm going to have it forever and it has like sentimental value to me since it was you know, I got laid off from my job and then I was able to find an even better job and it just is a really special back to me and shows me how hard I work. So yes, I'm so, 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 so excited and thankful for this bag. But right now I'm just going into my bathroom because we're going to go to my mom's for dinner tonight. Sorry y'all, I still have not put up my Christmas decorations. I think I'm going to tomorrow before we leave town on Thursday because I think it'd be fun to like come back home and have Christmas decorations up. But, um, but I promise I will do that in a vlog um hopefully this one but so yeah right now i'm gonna go with my mom's for dinner me and ryan are both going um we still haven't been over there in a while my mom's making a pot roast and i'm just excited to just go over and sit at the kitchen counter with my mom and have a glass of wine um but the reason i'm in my bathroom is i don't know if y'all have seen these tiktoks about this stuff but it's the sisa pear tiger grass color correcting treatment and so basically i'll open it let me see. Actually, let me get, go. Or mm, I'll just put you right here. But um, my little outfit is literally just this workout top from Gap and then biker shorts. But okay, so this stuff. So you open it and it's like green. And green, you'll probably know this, but like green counteracts redness in your skin. And I like. Okay, so just get a good visual. I have no makeup on. I just put on like my vitamin C and my SPF. But okay. So you like take some and the idea with it is that this just like evens out your skin tone like crazy and like removes all the redness and it really does work. I'm literally gonna get it on the ground. But okay, so you like press it into your face and kind of let it like a little bit more. And then you just kind of like and my redness is like under my eyes but okay i'll just stop right here and then come back after this is sunken in so you guys can see the difference okay so now i'm in the natural light and i literally don't have any foundation on it's just 
this stuff I just showed you and my skin looks so even and perfect not to like pat myself on the back or anything over here but yeah so literally all I have on is like eyebrow gel a lip balm and that stuff and my skin looks like so so nice So I called an audible. I didn't know what to do with the rest of my day. I was debating going to exercise. I edited a couple of videos this morning and I picked out all my outfits for Colorado and planned all that out. So it's kind of like the aftermath. I'm not quite done yet, but I have the basics of what I want to bring for like shooting cute outfits while I'm there. And I was gonna go exercise and I'm like, no, you know what? I wanna put on my Christmas pajamas and I wanna decorate the tree and I wanna decorate my apartment. And so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so Ryan just got down the tree and I put on Christmas music and I'm about to make this place Christmas magic. The tree is up, it just needs a little more fluffing, but I love this tree. I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart. Walmart or Costco last year. I'll try and take a picture of the box. Is there really on this? I don't know. That's what it says. But it's been amazing. It hasn't shed barely at all. And it just looks really good. I'm really excited. And I need to put all of this. This is pretty much all tree stuff. Um, but I put this runner. That's really cute. Most of the stuff I had last year too, but I had that. And then I have the Oh my gosh, I've always forget what those are called. And then I put our stockings right here. I can't wait for the day we actually have like a fireplace. I can put those above it. And then this like sparkly reindeer, this little tree. I'm not sure if I love this like all like that, but I don't know. Let me know if you have suggestions. And then this is going to look a little bit better. But this is kind of the idea. I have that cute little sign. And then over here, don't mind our thawing salmon. Um, I decided to add these ornaments to this bowl and I thought it was kind of a cute look. So I don't know, this is all kind of like a rough draft, but it's what I have so far. <laughs> 